Hey guys, Saleh. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your very own AI quant to help you write algo trading strategies with Python. With this setup, you'll be able to use whichever LLM model that you like, whether it be locally, such as the ones Olama provides for us, or the ones that are cloud-based such as OpenAI or CloudSonic. Now, by the end of this video, you're going to have a setup that can help you write strategies, debug them, or even improve the results of it. So it's going to be really cool. So let's get right into it. In case you didn't know, recently I released the second generation of our own Jesse GPT. With the new model, you can use whichever model that you like, such as the Grok3 GPT 4.1 or 3 Mini, or even the DeepSeek chat or CloudSonnet 3.7. Now, if you want to use this one, simply sign up and you'll be able to use it. It has both a free and a premium plan. Now, of course, for more expensive models, you're going to need a premium plan. But here's the thing. Let's say you don't want to use this because of a privacy concern, or maybe you don't like our pricing and you think it's too expensive. Well, that's when this new setup that I'm about to show you is going to be really helpful for you. We can do this setup in a couple of ways. You're going to need a software or whichever kind of application that allows you to use local models or to use the API keys of third party cloud providers. Now, the one that I use is called Jan.ai, which is pretty cool. It is open source and completely free, and they provide installations for all the three major operating systems. Simply go to the download page and get the one right for your operating system. The setup is really easy, so I'm not going to walk you through it. Now, another really cool project that I found is called Open Web UI. It is completely open source and it allows you to do just the same thing. But I found the setup for this one not to be as easy as Jan.ai, so I still suggest to go with that one. Now, once you install Jan.ai, you're going to see a page like this, which allows you to look for the model that you want to download. So let's say I want to get the Llama tree model, for example, right? I can simply look for it here and click the download button and it will be ready for me to use. It will even guide me to know which models I can run and which ones I can't. But the thing is, you're not going to get the same kind of quality with local models that you're going to get with the edge cloud models, such as Grok or Cloud Sonnet. So what we're going to do is to use the API key of these services. Now to generate an API key, you can use platforms such as Anthropic or OpenAI directly. However, if you do it that way, you're going to be limited only to the models that they offer you. But if you use another platform such as Open Router, you'll get access to all sorts of models. And the thing is, we have a new model like every week these days. So I think the best option is to actually go with this solution. So I'm going to show you how to do it with Open Router. Now, I already have an account here. If you don't simply sign up, it doesn't even require anything. And one really cool thing about Open Router is that it actually allows you to charge your account using cryptocurrencies. Now, to me, that's really great because I won't have to give them my credit card information. All right, so assuming you already have charged your account from the credits page, to create an API key, simply go to the keys page. And here you can see I've already created two API keys. And to create a new API key, simply click on this button Give it a name, it could be anything you want. I'm gonna name it YouTube test. And we can even specify a limit for it. Now, I'm gonna give it $1. Click on the create. And here's the API key that it has given me. Copy it, and now go to the Jan AI. Go to the settings page. And here, you can see we have all sorts of options. Now, I'm gonna find the open router. And here, I can paste my API key. Once you do that, you can simply add model. Click here. Go back to the open router to the models page and here look up the model that you want. Now, as it happens, last night OpenAI released offer mini model. So let's click on this one and copy the unique ID of that model. Go back to the AI and paste it here. Click on add and now if I scroll down, I should be able to find it. So now I should be able to find the key of the model that I just added. But here's the thing, I already have some credits left on my Anthropic account, so I'm going to use this one. Now to start a new chat, go to the thread section, click on the new button if you don't already have one. And here we can see the instructions section is empty. Now we can start chatting with it. So for example, I can ask it to write a golden cross strategy for me. Now if I press enter, you can see it immediately begins writing the code for me. But first, it is explaining what a golden cross strategy is, what are the entry or the exit rules. And the code that it is giving me, it is already in Python, but this isn't really practical. I'm not going to be able to run a backtest on this. And even if I do, it definitely won't be accurate. And even if it was accurate, I wouldn't have been able to run it live and actually make some money with it, right? Now, what we need is a setup that can write the code using the Jesse framework syntax. Then we'll be able to run backtests, import data, optimize it, and even run it to live. Now, to do that, I'm going to use the exact instructions that I used to build the Jesse GPT on our website. Now, again, if you don't want to go through with the setup, just 
sign up and use it as it is. You can even get it started for free. But again, we need the instructions. Now, where can we find it? Well, I open sourced it on GitHub. So you can find the repository under our organization and it is called GPT instructions. You can also use this URL, which I'm going to put down in the description section of the video. All right, so here's the readme file, but what I'm interested in is this instructions.md file. So click on it, then click on the raw so that we can copy and paste everything. Now, by the way, notice that this is a giant file. It has all sorts of strategy examples. It has a summary of the whole documentation of Jesse Framework. So that's why it's really long which is also another reason why it's best to use a cloud version. Because if you try to use a local model with this much instruction, at least the initial request is going to be really slow. So select all of it, copy it, and go back to jan.ai and paste it here. So now the instructions is not empty anymore. Now let's say I want to see the result of it for this exact request that I made here. Write me a golden cross strategy. So I can just go down and click on the retry button here. Now notice the strategy that it is writing for me this time has the exact syntax of the JC framework. It is Python. It's also much cleaner. So here's the fast moving average, the slow one. Here are the inter rules of the strategy. Here's the position sizing. And here's when to liquidate the position. It also gave me a very short description of the strategy, but not too much. So, and that is the result of this instruction. I asked it to give me the code, nothing more, nothing less. Now let's say this is good, but I wanted to add, let's say the ADX indicator because I want to filter some bad trades because the thing with the trading strategy is that it tends to take too many trades and the trading fees usually eat our profits. So I'm going to ask it to do that. If I press enter, All right, so, it gave me the exact strategy, but this time it is also using the ADX and inside my entry rule of the strategy, I can say it is checking to see if the trend is strong enough by saying whether or not the current ADX value is above the number 25. Now, of course, I could also ask it to modify that number if I need to, or even to prepare the strategy using the Jesse syntax for optimization so that we can find this number dynamically, which would save us a lot of time. Now, if you want to know what other types of things you can do with it, a good example is to look at the Jesse GPT page on our website. Here, the first one is asking it to write a golden cross strategy. The second one says, prepare my strategy for optimization, because I find the task of replacing some of the parameters of the strategy with the syntax that is required for Jesse sometimes to be a tedious task. But when I ask the AI to do it, it's really easy for it and it does it immediately. Even the smallest and cheapest model can take care of this type of task very good. I can also ask it to prepare my strategy for live trading because I want to make sure that the monitoring stuff are in place. I can also ask it to suggest other indicators to improve my already existing strategies. You get the idea. Just check out this page and you'll see all the tips and the latest stuff that I come up with. And if you can come up with some stuff that I haven't, let me know and maybe I add it to this page. But that's not all. Because all the instructions are here, you can easily customize it however you like. So let's say there's a syntax here that you don't like. It works for me, but for whatever reason, you want to improve it. Go nuts. Just maybe copy this whole file inside your editor of choice, such as VS Code, and add a section to it or modify an existing one. In fact, if it was really good, maybe submit a pull request to our repository and I'll merge it so that the others can use it and take benefit from it. Another really cool thing that you can use this setup for is to convert the existing strategies on TradingView, which uses this syntax called PineScript, into Python so you can backtest it with Jesse. Now, to do that, we can simply look for it. Now, you can find them on the TradingView website, but another way is to simply search for it. So I'm going to say EMA strategy. And there are so many of them, but this one, for example, is using MACD and EMA. So let's click on it. Now you can see the result of the backtest of TradingView, which by the way, is not accurate. So never count on this. TradingView is great for charting, but it is not for backtesting. For backtesting, you want to use something accurate such as Jesse. But anyways, if the strategy is profitable enough, we can use this code. Just simply go here to source code and here it is. Now I can copy the entire thing. I can go back to Jan AI and create a new thread 
And notice that the instructions are still here, but if they weren't, make sure to copy and paste them again. And I can simply ask it, convert this strategy into Python code. And then paste the whole thing. And now it's giving me the Python code. I can copy this whole thing, go to the JC framework and backtest it with Python, which allows me to see the actual result of this strategy, not the fake ones on TradingView. Now, by the way, they aren't really fake. It's just that it isn't accurate enough, especially in most cases, it has the issue of the lookahead bias, which in JC doesn't exist. All right, the possibilities are endless here. You can use everything locally, on the cloud, or use JC GPT on our website. It doesn't really matter. I open source this setup because my goal for creating JC GPT was not to make money on top of it. I just wanted you guys to be able to do research faster and use Jesse more frequently. Especially for those who aren't even great with Python, this enables them to start algo trading today rather than months later. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.